In this presentation, we will study about the carry look ahead adders. In short, it is also called as CLA adders. We have already studied about the full adders. Now in this one, we will study about a way superior adder. Now you might be thinking that how this CLA is superior than the full adder. It is superior in terms of speed. You know, speed is one of the most important factor in the efficiency of any digital circuit. And let's say if we want to add these two numbers A and B and uh, let's suppose both A and B are 16 bit numbers. So the sum will not come instantly it will take some time. Now why it will take some time because inside these adders there are gates and each and every gate will take some time to produce the output depending upon the input. Now this time is called as the propagation delay okay the propagation delay of the sum and carry is different and we are more concerned about the propagation delay of your carry why because let's say in this adder once you are having c in a3 b3 you are having your sum okay but for c3 you have to wait until the sum is calculated because depending upon the sum you are going to have your carry so what we are going to do actually in the CLA is to predict the carry. The very important point of CLA is to predict the carry. Okay. And this is something on which we are going to devote the whole presentation to find or to predict the carry before it is actually calculated. Okay. So we will start from this table, truth table. A familiar truth table for you only the sum is not mentioned because I have already told you that we are going to focus on the carry output so what we are going to do in this truth table is to see when the carry output is 1 or high and do some analysis okay everything is hidden in this truth table only you need eyes to see them so this is the case the four cases in which your carry output is high so let's consider this last two case in this you can see that whenever both a and b are high the carry output is high it doesn't depend upon your carry input whether it is 0 or whether it is 1 it doesn't depend upon it it depends only on the a and b whether they are high or not okay so for this a and b and let's examine the next case by taking this four combinations okay and um, if you can see then this case is your odd ones detector because if I X or 0 and 1 it will give me 1 and also in this case C in is 1 so I can say that when a X or B is equal to 1 and also C in is equal to 1 your carry output is 1 okay because in this case also a x or b is 1 but c in is 0 so output is 0 in this case a x or b is 1 you can say that in all these four cases a x or b is 1 so it depends upon the c in whether it is 1 or not so whenever it is 1 the, like in this case the c out is 1 and also in this case so what i can write i can write c output as a and b or this thing a xor b and c in okay this is we just evaluated from our truth table now there are some terminologies involved with this expression let me explain you that this part we call as carry generator and this part we call as carry propagator now why we call it as carry generator and why we call it as carry propagator it's just a name but it is because there is no dependency on c in in this first case the carry is generated depending upon a and b only in this case the carry is generated when the carry from the c in is propagated as one so we call it as carry propagator there is nothing big thing in that I just mentioned the name you want to remember it it's good if you don't want to remember it it's okay it's just 
help us to recall that we call it G this part we call it G and this part we call it P depending upon generator and propagator okay so how I can write this thing C O is equal to G or P C in so we have stepped into the process of predicting our carry output once we are having this equation so let's generalize it and uh, generalization will be done by using this full adder configuration if c minus 1 is your carry input c0 is your carry output similarly if c0 is your carry input c1 is your carry output so i can say that ci is there if i talk about this part okay and c in will be what c i minus 1 okay so all we are doing here is the generalization of this equation okay so c i and uh, we are having g or p c i minus 1 we have generalized this equation